Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this design to your WordPress website. Now, in one of my previous videos, I had shown you how to design this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In this video, I'll show you how to add this to your WordPress website. So let's get started. Alright, so here I have logged into my WordPress dashboard and for running this WordPress website locally, I am using this software called Local by Flywheel. So you can just go ahead and download this for free from Google and then just click on this plus icon to create a new WordPress website and uh, fill in the details and uh, once you create the website, you can just click on WP Admin and you can go ahead and log into your WordPress website. So here I have logged in and uh, Let's go ahead and add this design to our WordPress website. Now I am using this theme called 2021, but you can use the same method to add this design to any theme you want. So let's go over here to post and let's click on add new post. And uh, let's add our design over here. So I'll just add a title. Let's type steps to use our product. And here in the body, you can just go ahead and add any content you want. So you can add paragraph, image and all those things over here. And once you want to add this custom design, you can just go over here to this plus icon and search for custom HTML and select that. Or you can also go ahead and type forward slash and start typing custom HTML. So now we can see it says write HTML. Now here we can add HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So let's create a style tag and we will add the CSS inside this style tag. So let's go to the source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's go to the CSS file and let's copy everything from this line of code till here and let's paste it over here inside the style tag. And after that, let's go ahead and paste the HTML. So let's go back to our source code. Let's go to the HTML file and let's copy from this line of code till here and let's paste it over here. And now let's add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag for that. And uh, let's go back to our source code. Let's go to the main.js file and let's copy all this JavaScript from here. And let's paste it over here inside the script tag. Now, if you go back to our source code here, we can see that we have this uh, interval over here. So right now it is set to three seconds, which is 3000 milliseconds. So here we can see that after three seconds, the design changes. So the active step changes. So you can change that over here. And here in the HTML, you can go ahead and change all this content. So you can change the heading and the paragraph that you see over here. And you can also change the icons. So here we can see we have this SVG. So you can replace this with your own SVGs. And then we have the main heading over here. And then we have the image. So right now the image is set to images forward slash main.jpg. But in a WordPress website, we don't have this main.jpg file right now. So we need to upload the image to our WordPress website and then we need to add the link over here. Let's go to media and let's click on add new media file. Let's click on select files. And here's our image. Let's click on open. And the image was uploaded. Let's open the image. And here we can find the URL of the image. So let's click on copy URL to clipboard. And let's go back and paste it over here in the source. And now the image will work. All right now, let's go ahead and click on publish and publish. Now we can see our post was published. So let's click on view post. And here we can see that we have our design, but uh, we have some problems in the CSS. So the main problem is that it doesn't have the correct width. So that's because the theme has some styles added by default. So for the posts, the theme has some default max width. So if you right click over here and uh, let's go to inspect. And if you go to the split section division, here we can see that the theme has set this max width to this value right here. So let's go ahead and change it to something different. So we can just go ahead and change this to max width of 100%. And now we can see it looks all right. Now here we can see that for this background, we don't have white color as we have in our design over here. That's because the theme has some default background color. So we need to update that as well. 
And what we will do is we'll just update the background color when we have the active state for these steps. So let's go back. And here for the split section, let's go ahead and add a max width of 100%. And uh, for the active state, which is right here, let's add a background color and let's set it to white. Let's click on update. Let's go back to our post and reload. And here we can see that we still don't have the max width added because uh, the theme has added the max width for the design. So we need to add exclamation important over here so that it will override the theme code. So let's click on update. Let's go back to our post and reload. And now we can see we have the correct design displayed over here. So everything is working all right. Let's take a look at the mobile version. And the mobile version is also looking all right. So that's basically how you can add this custom design to your WordPress website. All right, so that's basically it for this video. I will leave the link of the design video and also the source code in the description of this video. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.